Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of CEO and Hard Evil's Pre-Resurrection Sunday Let's Plays 2019. In this episode, I am playing the GameCube version of 4x4 EVO 2. Last year, I played the Xbox version of the same game, but for the second year in a row, I figured that I would play it again, though this time it's the Nintendo GameCube version, with a lot of differences, such as the different load screen you're looking at right now. Once again, this Terminal Reality logo is exclusive to this game. So without further ado, let's let the opening cutscene play. Alright, that was fun to watch. Despite the copyright dates on the title screen saying 2001, this version of this game was released in 2002. I only have a couple profiles on this GameCube memory card. Let's load the one saved previously on September 20th, 2018, which was last year. And now let's do a quick race. By default, Autumn Leaves is shown. As you can see, I have unlocked all the tracks previously used in the 4x4 Evolution game in career mode in this version of this game. You see, unlike the PC, Mac, and Xbox versions, this version and the PlayStation 2 version require you to unlock all the tracks reused from the first 4x4 Evolution game in career mode, which is kind of weird to say the least. Anyhow, let's start off with Bayou Flats, one of the original tracks available in all versions of the scheme. Boy, the load times are kinda long here. Alright, here we go. This was one of the tracks previously used in the first game, 4x4 Evolution, which never had a Nintendo GameCube version. This is one of the Nintendo GameCube exclusive vehicles called the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I believe it was also used in Jeep's demo version of this game, Jeep 4x4 EVO 2, which was also made in 2002, and released only for the PC, but I believe that promotional game was released exclusively in North America, just like this Nintendo GameCube version of this full game, as well as the Mac version for whatever reason. I actually did download the Jeep 4x4 EVO 2 game from Casey's 4x4 EVO 2 place, 
which has been shut down for a while sadly just to have the true authentic experience of it and let me tell you it has a great selection of vehicles and its missions are fun. I have made in first place which is awesome. It was cool taking that shortcut over the paddle boat. I have no idea why none of the computer opponent drivers do the same thing in this game. Woo! That jump is awesome! I always like watching the race replays in this game. Unfortunately, um, in this version, um, they took out the option to save or load replays, which is pretty inconvenient, f especially for those who love to watch replays of races. Thankfully, it was restored in the PlayStation 2 version of this game, practically identical to this game, but for whatever reason, it was released only in Europe, which I find inconvenient and non-realistic. Wanna know why? For starters, this video game was developed in the United States by Terminal Reality, and the popularity of a lot of the American vehicles included in this game is not quite as large in European countries as in the United States and Canada, and the PlayStation 2 was one of the most popular video game platforms at that time. So that's why I found one of the official European PAL versions of the PlayStation 2 version of this game and made a custom North American NTSC front cover out of the real German-Italian PAL release cover art and included in part one of my custom North American NTSC PlayStation 2 game release front cover slideshow video series. Well, at least they did release the PlayStation 2 version of the first game, 4x4 Evolution, in both North America and Europe. Anyhow, this is one of the tracks included exclusively in the GameCube and PlayStation 2 versions of this game, Baja Run. This track was also available for download for the PC version of this game on Casey's 4x4 EVO 2 Place, and it was actually made by a former Terminal Reality member, Team Death, named after one of this game's original teams of the same name. However, said website has been sadly shut down for a while as I said a few minutes ago, during its last few years, a Norwegian gamer and user named RCG Balthazar took over the servers for it. So hopefully sometime soon, it'll be coming back, otherwise just like now, I am not making any more custom tracks and vehicles for the PC version of this game because it's been one of my favorite things to do regarding the PC version of this game as it allows you to create custom stuff for it. Oh, and my username on Casey's 4x4 EVO 2 place was 4x4 Evolution Fan. In the meantime, a Dutch user and gamer named Oops has all the 6 NGC slash PS2 exclusive tracks on his own website OopsTracks.com which has been amazingly up for many, many years. I have put the download links to them in the description below. Last year, I also made a video of the treasure chest locations in some of the GameCube PlayStation 2 exclusive tracks as a bonus part of my 4x4 EVO 2 treasure chest locations walkthrough series. That was pretty bumpy. Whoops, I cartwheeled this monster truck, but I'm okay. 
This time I made in third place. Let's have a look at this replay. This monster track right here was actually included exclusively in both the GameCube and PlayStation 2 versions of this game. So in both versions, monster truck fans have twice the choice when it comes to uh, driving monster trucks in this game, which is amazing since this video game comes from the creators of the Microsoft Monster Truck Madness video game series. But this game has superior graphics, more options, and furthermore. Nothing can beat how unique this video game is. This is one of the best off-road racing games in the world. When it comes to physics and always being able to win races, the 4x4 Evolution series is a fantastic change from the usual off-road video games. Alright, I think that's enough of this replay, which is never going to get saved thanks to the fact that I can't save replay files in this GameCube version, which is inconvenient. Now let's try another track, Just Race. Oh, and of course, you have to unlock the Nintendo GameCube and PlayStation 2 exclusive tracks in career mode. For some reason, you're no longer allowed to drive Class 1 and Class 2 vehicles in, in Quick Race and Free Roam modes in this version and the PlayStation 2 version. The Class 3 vehicles were renamed to Evolved Vehicles. Weird, isn't it? Alright. Finally, the game has fully loaded up. See that vertical rectangular thing on the analog gauges? I believe that could be used for front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. Which is very interesting since the PC, Mac and Xbox versions of this game never let you do that since they oddly don't have that feature. That feature however, was also implemented into the Jeep 4x4 EVO 2 game, which is pretty cool. I also liked playing a similar game to it, Jeep 4x4 Trail of Life, which can be downloaded from the 4x4 Evolution Revival website, I believe. It's fun to drive through forests in dusk setting in this game. It's a shame that they took out the night setting in all versions of this game. Whatever, the pitch black setting in 4x4 Evolution and Monster Truck Madness 2 was rather tedious for me anyway. Additionally, in this game, they also should have kept all the Ford vehicles from 4x4 Evil 1, but I can see why they cut them out of this game due to the fact that licensing issues prevented them from being featured in this game. However, at the same time, I find it weird that those licensing issues occurred in the first place. Whoops. That vehicle got stuck there, and now we can get moving again. This track is quite interesting, really. See how I try to take that shortcut? And this time I came in second place. And this vehicle, by the way, is the Nissan Kalmany um, 
Frontier Race Track. It's another vehicle available exclusively in this version of this game alongside the PlayStation 2 version. This replay is really fun to watch. Of course, in the five Nintendo GameCube PlayStation 2 exclusive tracks, the gameplay music randomizes. It means that the gameplay music changes each time you drive on either one of those tracks. The same thing happens in the PC version of this game in custom tracks. Wow, that was pretty cool to see again. New record, third. That's pretty good, I'd say. How about soda racing? This is a good racetrack. Let's do three laps this time. And race in midday. Let's drive the Chevrolet Stillen Silverado Monster Truck again. All right, here we go. This is a small dirt race track, but it's pretty cool. Fourth place, let me see if I can catch up. That jump was kind of helpful. There, but that corner was kind of tight. See that number counter on the checkpoint finder on the top middle of the screen? That was originally used exclusively in 4x4 Evolution, but Terminal Reality decided that they should have it reused here, in this version of this game. That also applies to the PlayStation 2 version. New record, third again. What do you say we go on this track again, 
in free roam mode. Let's just get out this race mode. I'll drive the monster truck again. The Chevrolet Silverado one. Now, the reason I want to do this is because the treasure chest location in this track is quite easy to access. Let me show you where it is in this video. It's right in between those dirt bikes right there. So let's use this monster truck to go get it, crushing the dirt bikes in the process. You just found $1,831. Wow, that's really cool. And now that it's done, let's go do some exploring here. Those walls are really large. I mean, those fences. This is one of the best music tracks in this game, because it has a nice country style. Oh, and unlike the Xbox version of this game, you can no longer hear the full-length versions of the music tracks in this version and the PlayStation 2 version, as both versions released in 2002 have just reused the, the short versions of the same gameplay music tracks from the PC version. This looks like a giant skateboard ramp. How about I jump over this side? Whoa! We flew off that cool thing. Right over here is this black water. And now I'm stuck on the water, so I'll get out of here now by using the button that allows you to get your vehicle back to where it was before. Let's just get out of here. Nice stunt. Too bad you cannot view the full screen map in free roam mode. Oh, and in this version and the PlayStation 2 release, the map on the top right corner looks like a widescreen TV. Now let's go on rooftop racing, which oddly is exclusive to free roam mode in this version and the PlayStation 2 version. This time I want to drive one of the original vehicles used in all versions of this game. The regular Jeep Wrangler Sport. I think the white color would be nice. Oh, and did I mention that this version and the PlayStation 2 version of this game have more parts that you can buy in career mode than what is offered in the PC, Mac, and Xbox versions? Pretty cool, huh? Wow, that was a weird bounce right from the start. Let's go on those bridges carefully.
I wonder why this particular track is not available to actually be raced on in quick race mode and career mode in this version and the PlayStation 2 version. To me, that's even stranger than Obstacle Park being originally intended to be an actual race track but ended up being a mission track instead. Alright, now that I fell off that platform, let's try getting on there again. Down it goes. Alright, let's stay here, and up we go. Back up to one of the rooftops of one of the tall buildings. It's just like an elevator. Now, in this version, I had a hard time finding the treasure chest location in this particular track, which is why I did not include it in the bonus part of my 4x4 Evil 2 treasure chest location walkthrough series. But thanks to a user named VGMaster60, I was able to find the treasure chest location that way after my treasure chest location video for this version of this game was uploaded. Thank you very much, VGMaster60. He has a video of where the treasure chest location actually is in this particular track in this version, which is why I then included a link to his video of it in the description of my video for the treasure chest locations in this version of the scheme. So I'd like to provide special thanks to him once again for doing that kind thing for me. Anyway, what the heck? Hockey on grass? And no goal nets? Only goal poles? What kind of sense does that make? I guess that's just an off-road version of the hockey game, or whatever it is. Exploring this city is pretty cool. Alright, that was fun. Let's park here and go back to the free roll menu. Let's race on one more NGC slash PS2 exclusive track, Road Racing. Once again, we'll do only one lap. And for the last time, let's try the still in Chevrolet Silverado monster truck. Because monster trucks are awesome. About all the NGC slash PS2 exclusive vehicles, they're all available in 4x4 Evolution Revival as well as my pack of the same vehicles just for use in the regular 4x4 EVO 2 game for the PC. Originally uploaded to Casey's 4x4 EVO 2 place but backed up on moddb.com by PMD Leader Shinx. Thank you, PMD Leader Shanks, for doing a nice thing and giving credit to me as 4x4 Evolution fan. Here we go. This looks similar to Truck Stop 101, doesn't it? Another thing, I believe both this version and the PlayStation 2 version lack steering wheel compatibility.
Whoops, I did not mean to overturn this monster truck. Let's let me get back on the track. Wow, that was a bizarre mistake. And landing on that UFO was cool. I still think it's a big disappointment that the PlayStation 2 version lacks a North American NTSC release. That's just bizarre for the reasons I've explained earlier briefly. It also does not make any sense whatsoever. Oh well, for completion's sake, at some point in the future, I might just import the UK PAL PlayStation 2 version of this game from the United Kingdom along with a UK PAL PlayStation 2. Oh, and of course, I will also have to buy a PAL to NTSC converter that works just fine and a UK to USA power adapter and voila! Even BAM Entertainment, the publisher of the PS2 release, is also American. Jeez! The Skycam is really interesting. Another thing I don't understand about the PlayStation 2 version of this game is, it has all the gameplay music such as this nice country music removed. I have no idea why they did that. I mean, come on Terminal Reality, this is 4x4 EVO 2, not Mobile One Rally Championship! Oh well, whatever. Oh, strangely, that Ram race truck used in all versions of this game uh, lack the top lights and the antenna. I have no idea of why by default those parts are not in place on that particular race truck in this version of this game as well as the PlayStation 2 version. Alright, now that the race is over, what do you say I go back to free roam just to uh, roam freely on one of the uh, tracks available in all versions of this game, Thailand Rally. I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I think midday is good enough. Let's drive something else. The Lexus LX470. That's an all-wheel drive vehicle. Interesting. But all the checkpoint signs are in Thai, so I can't read them. However, I believe they stand for Start, Finish, and Checkpoint. In the Xbox version of this game, I always liked to listen to the jungle ambient sound effects in this track. Oh, and speaking of which, Unlike that version, you can no longer listen to the nature ambient sound effects in this version. That also applies to the PlayStation 2 version. Oh man, so much for trying to jump across this part of the river. And now I'm stuck here underwater. Let me just get out of here. Alright, that's better. I'd rather not try that jump again after what just happened.
But this tiny part of the river is very easy to cross without having to jump over it. Let's change the camps again. Alright, let's just stop here and get out of here. That track was pretty fun to roam on once again in this version of this game, that is. One last thing, let's roam on Crazy 2001, or as it says in this version of this game, Crazy 2002. Let's drive a different track. The Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Extended Cab will do this time. I think blue is a fine color choice. Come on now, I'm ready to go. Goody, now we're driving. Anyhow, this track was renamed Crazy 2002 because, as I mentioned earlier, both this version of this game for Nintendo GameCube and the PlayStation 2 release were released in 2002, though not 2001. It's fun to carefully drive in the water in this track when roaming around it. That grater's pretty heavy. But I'm able to take down those roadblocks easily. Just so I can jump over one of the dirt road sections. And that jump was fabulous. How about I get over this bridge? Here goes nothing. That was cool. I just like seeing those water waves whenever I drive through water. Let's go over here now. It's great to get across those small sections of water. Now let me see if I can get across this one small part of the river. Success! I did it! Somewhere on this track, there is a circular track section separate from this large race track. But I'm not gonna go that far, and thanks to the fact that I can't use a full screen map here. Alright, that was great fun. Let's just 
park here and get out of here. Wow, we had a lot of fun driving in this version of this game today, didn't we? Let's just go ahead and save my current profile. Yes, I do want to overwrite this file. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this entire series, as well as this particular episode. Goodbye everybody, and that's about it. Have a happy Easter slash Resurrection Sunday.